Tom, thank you for joining us on TalkSport. Obviously, had a week away before this match. Mm. How have you kept yourself busy? Uh, yeah, well, we went off to um, Bangalore and played a bit of golf out there, uh, which was pretty good. We had a we had a right laugh out there. Um, and then we've just come here and obviously we've just been um, exploring around the area for the past couple of days. And obviously with no training, we've just given a bit of extra time to, to go out and explore. On this area, I saw you around McLeod Gange earlier. Mm. What a stunning place. Oh yeah, it's fabulous. You know, it's beautiful getting the cable car up there. Had a little stroll around up there and um, you know, it was just fantastic to experience different cultures really. And um, yeah, you know, I'd, it's some place I'd probably come back to again. Heading into the final match of the series, mm. You are currently the top wicket taker. Have you at all been surprised by your own success? Could, could, heading into the series, were you envisaging 20 wickets, outdoing Ashwin, Jadeja and names like these? Yeah, no, I, you know, I didn't know how much I was going to play this series and coming into it and you know, obviously to play every game so far and take, you know, take them 20 wickets are fantastic. You know, I've really surprised myself um, you know, and hopefully showing I've been able to compete with these, with these top, top names. So... Um, you know, hopefully I can just let it continue. Have your aspirations changed? I mean, from the outside, it looked like you being picked here. It was probably like a specialist selection, mm. bring another spinner to India. Mm. But McCullum's spoken about you kind of so glowingly. Mm. Do you now look forward to the English summer and think, I'd like to be playing Test cricket for England in home conditions as well? Yeah, you know, obviously, I think that's the aim for any cricketer in this. And, you know, obviously, first series, just, you know, just trying to ease into it. Um, but, you know, obviously, you know, Jack Leach is... is Bit done phenomenal and just been a bit unlucky with injuries, but you know I'd like to think that I'm I'm getting up there and getting close, and um, you know we'll never know. We'll see see how the summer goes. Really, your county Lancashire signed Nathan Lyon, mm -hmm. quite a good off spinner. Uh, what were your own emotions when that news came through? Uh, you know it was fantastic. I think you know he's such a per uh, great person to learn off, and f for me, um, you know. He's such a good over, like over spin bowler, and so just getting trying to get as many tips and, on him as possible, and I can't wait really. What does your kind of dream season with Lancashire look like? Does it look like being part of a two-man attack with Nathan Lyon? Does it look like keeping Lyon out of the team? Uh, how yeah, paint us a picture. Uh, you know, obviously, I'd, I'd love to play alongside him, but you know, it's very early days. You never know what's going to um, come up over the season or the weather or conditions, and um, you know, I'd love to play alongside him, and you know. Build a, build a really nice partnership with him. God forbid, first match of the season, 11 comes out. It's just Nathan Lyon in there, Tom Hartley not in the team. Mm. Would you be open to a, a loan move at all? Uh, it's, I think it's a bit early for that. I think, you know, I'll, I'll do what serves best for the team and for Lancashire. And, you know, um, you know, they've been fantastic to me over the years. So, you know, even if I can help out where I can, um, but we'll just have to see. It's a bit early to say. Yourself, Shoab, Rayan and obviously Jack in the first mm. test match of this series. You seem to have formed a really close knit group with each other. Mm. How special has it been bowling with mm. these guys, getting to know these guys, mm. taking on a challenge like India, which is pretty much the pinnacle for a spin bowler mm. with people who, well, between the three of you, without Jack, there was only one test cap between you. Yeah, you know, it's, it's been so weird, you know, obviously me and Bash our first tests. Um, but I think... Um, for us, we've been able to do that because of the lack of pressure on us. Um, and obviously, during that last test, I was probably the, the main spinner. But, um, you know, it was there was no pressure on us and we just go out and do our things. And I think that's just, you know, what the vibe in the dressing room is, what we show out on the field. So, um, you know, there's no reason why we can't do our best when there's no real pressure on us. Have you had a chance to speak to Jadeja or Ashwin throughout this series to kind of pick their brains? Is it something you'd be looking to do maybe after this match? Mm. Yeah, hopefully. I've not, I've not had a chance yet. They've been pretty quiet. Um, but, you know, after this game, if I could get five, ten minutes with him, that would be fantastic, you know, because they've, especially Jadeja, he's, you know, he's someone who I base a lot of my bowling and batting on, really. Um, so if I could have a little chat with him, and, you know, he's a very good T20 cricketer as well. So, you know, talking to him about that would be amazing. You mentioned your batting. It's not just been a special trip for you with the ball. You've batted superbly well throughout as well. In particular, you've kind of decided to keep hitting Ashwin for six. Uh, where has this come from? Is it a game plan? What's that felt like? Uh, it's, I think it's just the naturally way I like to play. I like to play on the more aggressive side. And, you know, um, for these sort of bowlers, they're so accurate and don't miss. And I feel like, you know, you have to put pressure back on them. And that's just the way I like to do it. And, you know, got lucky a few times, found the middle of the bat. But, you know, they're starting to get onto it now and having fielders back. But, you know, that 
it's such a nice place to be because even that doesn't scare me and you know uh, there'll be nothing from the lads if you get caught on the boundary like that so it's just keep going as we are I think. You start the season series at nine you obviously batted eight in the last match mm -hmm. where do you see yourself going kind of in the future as, as a batter do you see yourself as an out and out all-rounder? Um, ideally that's the way going forward I think I still have to do a lot of work on my batting um, but hopefully sort of fitting into like a, maybe a seven potentially a six but um, definitely happy at eight um, but I think a lot more work to do my batting and I'd like to yeah I think that's just the way for English spinners to go they they start to turn themselves more into all around us so and finally uh, for those who don't know your dad won the the European gold medal in kind of the four by 400 meters mm. I read an interview that you did that he's lost his gold medal mm. um, do you know where your test cap is is it something you're going to look at kind of bet look after better yeah, my, my test cap's um, not really left my side yet. So, um, you know, whenever it gets hung up, it's um, it, it won't be far away. And hopefully I'll, f I'll put it in a frame and, you know, try to do what my dad did, really. But yeah. Perfect. Tom, thank you very much for joining us. Cheers, thank you. Talk Sport.